in-depth reporting on inflation and we just got new numbers in Tampa today and it's not looking good here. In fact, our inflation is actually higher than the rest of the country. There's the headline Tampa inflation up 6.7% and I want to show you something else here as I walk you through this number. Uh, the rest of the nation is seeing a cool down, but not us here in Tampa. Food prices up 4% in the Tampa area and if you've gone out for dinner recently, you've also noticed this dinner out. It's costing you 7.2% more from this time last year and tonight ABC Action News reporter Mary O'Connell finding out what exactly is going on. Searching store shelves for the lowest price can be a bit of an art form. I watch for BOGOs. And nowadays, June Pasiga has noticed prices on certain items aren't always what they used to be. When I see cage-free eggs at 540-something, that's high. It's a familiar story for many shoppers as inflation impacts their bottom line. I caught up with Dennis Iman, the grocery manager at Nature's Food Patch in Clearwater, about what they've seen when they have to stock their shelves. Take eggs, for example. At the beginning of 2023, you might have noticed that there were egg prices went through the roof, and you can even find eggs in some places. Um, and the reason for that was a, a bird flu that ran through the flocks of, uh, of the hens that lay the eggs for us. Um, and that really put uh, a lot of pressure on the price to go up. It's almost back to where it was before. Then there are other everyday eats, too. Meat and uh, fish, uh, chicken, beef, all those prices have never really recovered from the inflation caused by the pandemic shortages. They've just remained high. However, Iman tells me it's a very competitive landscape in the grocery industry right now. While there is indeed inflation, and you will see inflation on the shelf, uh, it won't be as bad as you'd seen it before. And a lot, quite frankly, a lot of stores, us included, have started lowering prices to attract customers. Different foods have very different supply chains and very different impacts for going up, according to Piyush Shaw, an assistant professor at Florida Gulf Coast University. And the big lingering question, when shoppers might see relief at the grocery store. Shaw says every winter we have a slight reduction of prices, though he explained that's true if you're outside of Florida. In Florida, what happens in winter, we have the influx of um, um, people and, and we have a massive increase of population. Um, and, and so we don't, I, we should, I don't see any in a decrease in uh, prices in um, 2023. Um, and the earliest I think I can see a reduction would be in probably March or April of 2024. Still Pasiga, like most shoppers, is staying savvy. My secret is to buy ahead of time when things are on sale to get what she needs at the best price. In Clearwater, Mary O'Connell, ABC Action News.